to get your world from Minecraft so that you can put it into your project, I am going to walk you through that. So right now I am signing into my account for Minecraft EDU. If you use a different Minecraft, I hope it's the same way. Um, but the only one that I know how to use is Minecraft EDU. So I'm going to hit the play button right here and I'm going to find my world. I got a couple of them here. So let's go to <laughs> my world number four and I am going to play it or actually my bad. I'm going to hit settings before I play it. Then I'm going to scroll all the way down and you're going to see export world. So I just went into settings of my game. And when I scroll down, I will see export world. I hit export world. Please make sure you know where you put it. I usually put mine on the desktop and rename it. That way I know exactly where it is uh, because it could save anywhere. So it is important that you know where to save it. And it says level export finished successfully. And I have successfully done the export of my world but at some point you might not want to export the world you might want to take a video of it so screencast-o-matic is absolutely free and this will help you to do a screen recording of you playing the game or at scratch that of you exploring the land by hitting launch free recorder this you can walk us through all the parts of your land and do the talking so that it explains to us all the parts that you learned through Khan Academy and it is a free screen recorder if you have another one that is up to you to do that so our recorder is launched and so I'm going to wait and there it is right there so it is launched I am going to record the entire screen first and let me put up my Minecraft so it's on full screen I see that the audio is working so I can talk and work. It gives me a countdown and woo, I'm into my world. Well, it does take a while depending on what you have in your world. Um, but you can edit that part out if you like. I'm not. It's just Minecraft. It does that. And so I'm still waiting, 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 waiting. And then eventually it'll pop me into my world like so. I will have the audio or the microphone on so that I can say, and this is my land. As you can see, it is filled with, um, I guess this is earth because I got earth. But I made a sand and ice land. So this is the sand land where you can go and look at sand. And then you can go swim. Well, I think I'm swimming. I might have drowned. No, I'm still alive. Um, and I forgot how to use this world. So I can't jump up. I don't know what's going on. So this is not working. Hopefully your recording will be better than mine. So let's swim, swim to Iceland, swim in the cold waters, swim, swim. So I'm swimming, I'm still swimming, and the shark didn't get me, and I'm so happy because I'm still alive. And so I go, and I jump onto my land, and you will see this vegetation on my land. And here is the character that is going to be the main character on my land, and they are little, uh, what is that, piggies or sheeps over here. Um, I don't know what they are because they all look like blocks to me. And so those are my characters. You're supposed to feel this way when you see my characters. And then this is the ride that I built with redstone. And you can literally get in the ride and go around and you're supposed to, okay, that's enough. So I'm going to hit the pause button down here at the bottom. And then over here at the right, you see it says done. Click that. And we're going to save and upload this video. So what it's going to do, it's going to show you a copy of your video that you can watch, you can listen to, yada, yada, yada. Um, but I'm going to save this file. Again, just like the other one, I need to know where that file is going. So look, this one says it's going to my desktop. You can change that. You can put it on your flash drive. I don't care where you put it. And then you hit publish. Depending on how long it is, that is how long it will take for it to render. So I will fast forward this part.
So once it renders, you'll see that you can play it, whatever, whatever. I just hit done. I know where it's saved. I closed the screen recorder um, and stuff because I know where it is. So I'm going to open up my OneNote notebook and I'm going to use my son's notebook that I used in for a practice. And so I'm going to go open his and make sure I'm not in content library. If it's not letting me type, I need to make sure that I click edit online. And so I am coming, oops, I didn't put the page in his notebook. Let me go ahead and add that page to his OneNote notebook right there. So this is the page that you're going to put all your final projects, our products for your project here. And people are saying, I can't get it to upload. I don't know what to do, Miss Watts. Let me show you how simple it is to put in a variety of, and let me say that again, a variety of assignments into this notebook. So, so this is my Minecraft world. Remember, we exported that world. I'm going to go to file. I know that when I exported the world, I put it on my desktop. And then I want to scroll until I see my world. Blah, 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 blah. There it is. And then it's going to ask me if I want an attachment. Sure, attach that sucker. And that's good. I also made a video of my land. So here is my land video in Minecraft. I can go to, guess what, file. And this one, I saved it. Uh, where did I save it? On my desktop too. Um, so I scroll down, there it is, booyah. And I hit open and it's an insert attachment. And now I have my Minecraft world and I have my video. So I can put two things in there. What? Oh, no. Let's not stop there. Let's see how do we put a PowerPoint in here. So I'm going to go file. I'm going to save my PowerPoint where I can, you know, look for it. Usually I put mine on my desktop and I click on PowerPoint and I want to insert as attachment and whoo are you kidding so i did a minecraft world i did a video and i did a powerpoint but wait there's more let's not stop there so remember you could have had music to show the ambiance of your world or your land that you created can we put music in a one note notebook yes we can we're gonna hit file and figure out where you put that music um, that will show the theme of your world. And I'm going to click my music here. Open. And guess what? Insert as an attachment. And once I do that, my music is there. Oh, my goodness. So we put in a lot of different files. And it's working. But do I want to stop there? Nobody. Because some people might have worked in Scratch. So let me go to Scratch right about now, and it might take a little bit to load because you know it's uh, Scratch. And when I go into Scratch, how can I get my Scratch project into my OneNote notebook? Oh my goodness. Let's see. Oh, it's just like Minecraft. It wants to take its time. So I'm just going to get this random Scratch project right here. And I'm going to see this blue copy code, and I'm going to click that blue copy code, and I'm going to click link, copy link. I'm going to go back in two by one note, and I am going to paste that link. I didn't even have to go to insert or file. No, ma'am, Pam, all you had to do was get the link. If you are unable to share the link or get the link, you need to make sure that you have gone into your email, whatever you signed your scratch up with, and that you went and you validated that account. You verified it, I mean, so that it knows that you are somebody who's a real person, you know. So that's the only way you're not getting the share button. So go back and verify in whatever email address you created your scratch for. And so you'll notice that Ms. Watts has put in a variety of files very simply I have a Minecraft world, I have a Minecraft video, I have a Minecraft PowerPoint, I have music, and I also have a Scratch project. So all of your projects should be in this wonderful page for us to grade.